Welcome to the Peace Security Channel, everybody. Today I'll be doing a test on Komodo Internet Security 6. It's finally been released, and it was released yesterday, I guess. And, uh, well, it's not that much different from the beta. We get the brand new Komodo interface. It looks very similar to Kaspersky, so you've got your task manager where you can run and manage different tasks. You've got a shared space virtual kiosk which is totally virtualized desktop environment and uh, you can scan an update right from here so it's nice. Let's see if we've got any new updates here. And while that's working out let me just show you some of the new features. You've got game mode now you can switch to that and uh, you know it's very similar to the beta as I said nothing really has been changed since then you can reset the sandbox you've got your advanced settings virtual kiosk run virtual this runs applications inside a sandbox firewall general task quarantine and all that and all this uh, you know you can create a rescue disk but you'll have to download something for this and also clean endpoint basically launches Komodo cleaning essentials and watch activity is kill switch so overall I mean the program's not that much changed since the last version I mean apart from the huge visual change and uh, you know the sandbox that has been improved but the basics of the program are still the same so Let's just open up advanced settings. And here you can change your settings, uh, which used to be you know, in the home screen last time. I mean, in the last version. But now you have to go in here to make changes. Now, HIPS comes disabled by default. So, what Komodo are doing is that they're moving from intrusion detection and prevention to virtualization and that's pretty clear from uh, you know this thing that they've disabled the intrusion detection system and they have reinforced the sandbox so that's something that's uh, well I mean you can have your own opinions on that now as usual you've got trusted files unrecognized files and all that kind of stuff and now we get file ratings through the cloud which is nice so it's also becoming more of an uh, you know acceptable anti -vi antivirus solution. I mean, apart from the firewall and defense plus features, so that's nice. And uh, basically, now everybody wants to see this. Not gonna download the extra stuff. This is a completely virtualized environment where you can just, uh, you know, play with any kind of malware that you want and still not ever get infected. So that's nice. And that's pretty much it. You've got a widget, which I'm not a big fan of. You can run your sandbox browsers from here, but I'll be doing the test the way I always used to do it. I'll just open up Internet Explorer and get to work. So I've got some malware here. First, first one's an adware. Let's see how Komodo reacts to it. Oh damn! Doesn't work anymore. Let's try the second one. And this one got blocked by Komodo Secure DNS. So that's pretty impressive. Very rarely do you get to see. DNS blocking things. Here's uh, Trojan, I guess. Nasty one. Let's see if Komodo can get rid of it. And it has been isolated by the sandbox. That's nice. Okay, looks like we've got something that got caught by the signatures and it's a Zbot Trojan. Okay, 
Let's try the next one. This again, some kind of Trojan. Let's wait for this to open up because it's going to come up quite fast. So Komodo are basically shifting their focus from, uh, you know, the IDS stuff to virtualizing and they're trying to make everybody, you know, just just run everything in a virtualized environment. That, you know, that's something that other programs like Guest Wall and Defense Wall, if you've heard of them, that's what they do, basically. This is also blocked by Security NS, so they've really improved their DNS blocking service. That's nice. Now this is a rootkit. Hopefully Komodo will catch it. And it did. This is again some kind of adware. Now there's something annoying come out of message center, but you can disable this so there's nothing to worry about. This thing also got caught by the signatures. Now this is a pretty big piece of file. It's most probably you know some kind of adware generally don't see files that big this also got caught by secure DNS so that's good to see this is a low detection rate adware I don't know what Komodo is going to do with it in fact let's just wait for this one to get over with and it got caught so that's nice let's try run this one this is a zip file so the malware is probably inside and it got isolated so it's not in their signatures I just ran it inside the sandbox and this probably some kind of image exploit let's see if Komodo can detect and block it it did so that's the end of that it's probably not gonna work didn't so this is the last one. It's some kind of Trojan. So what I'm really impressed by is uh, the fact that Komodo Security NS blocked three websites out of these. So it does seem to, you know, supplement the antivirus. So it's actually becoming more and more useful nowadays. Let's wait for this one. And as far as the new user interface is concerned, I really have no problems with it. Some people like like to point out that uh, you, know, you have to take uh, too many steps to get to something that you need. Like if you want to open up the advanced settings, you need to go you know from home. You have to hit tasks, then you have to basically this is the way it would start then you had to go to advanced tasks and then you'd get it 
but uh, that's not really a problem because you can just add this to the taskbar and then you can just start it right from here. So the new interface does keep the accessibility you know, maintained, so I have no problems. As I said, there's some kind of adware junk and it did try to put some malware in the system and that was cut by Komodo. So that's pretty nice. Now I'll just uh, pause the video and grab some files. I've got 186 pieces of malware, 187 sorry, and uh, these are like two days old so we'll see how Komodo does. We'll do a scan. The scans are considerably faster with the new version. And uh, they're really working on some kind of a repair feature like Kas the ones that Kaspersky and Dr. Webb have to actually disinfect malware code. So, malware coded executable. So, when they come up with that, they'll probably integrate it into this thing. I don't know if they've done it yet. I don't think so. Because right now you can just quarantine the stuff. I think they've put it into Komodo Cleaning Essentials and they will put it into this program in the future whenever they come up with it like in 6.1 or 6.2. So they're working on it which is nice. I am expecting a pretty high detection rate because this is uh, all confirmed malware and they're, you know, pretty high detection rate stuff. So any good AV should get around about 90%. That's what I believe. So let's see what kind of options we get here for cleaning. They're still the same, I guess. That is clean, clean, and more clean. I don't think you can really do anything other than clean. You can just clean or not clean. These are all not clean options. So it still doesn't tell you, I mean, exactly what it's going to do. I'd like them to put like a quarantine, delete, and all separate kind of stuff. So that way you know what it's going to do exactly. I mean this is basically just quarantine I guess but when they put the repair feature I hope they'll change that. Now the cleaning is really fast. So it's all done. Let's see what we have left. We have 35 items out of 187. So let's open up calculator. That is 81.28%, which is, you know, not very impressive on these files, but uh, it's it's an okay detection rate. Not bad, as I said. Something good should get around 90, but there, I mean, I just had 185, so it's hard to get the exact number, so 81 is not bad. So let's run some of these and see what Komodo can do to the rest of the stuff. And this is what Komodo's real strength is, sure day malware that it does not have signatures for. In fact, this got caught when it unpacked itself. So that's nice. There's one that went into the sandbox, some more unclassified malware. This is suspicious, might be the cloud even. That's catching them or maybe it's just because uh, they're unpacked. So here's something from the heuristics. So it is catching a lot more than it did I guess. 
Maybe I should rescan it. Doesn't make sense because I'm pretty sure I did a scan of the full folder. Maybe they're all just being caught because they're unpacking themselves. Right now it's not catching anything, but when I try to open them, I guess they're just trying to unpack themselves and that's how they're like being caught. Some of these have been isolated in the sandbox. So I guess that's enough of malware. And now I'm going to delete this folder, if I can that is. I won't be able to. So I'll just reboot, run CCleaner, then run Malwarebytes, and I'll be back with the results. I just completed scanning with Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro, and they both identified a single piece of Trojan somewhere in uh, app data roaming. So Komodo didn't quite manage a clean sheet as I expected, but it's still quite good. Now this is just uh, something that's left in the recycle bin, so that's nothing to worry about. Now this is probably not active in memory. I'm sure the parent process was sandboxed, but I guess it just, you know, drop something and it's just sitting there but yeah you know it's it's just one file and uh, that's pretty much it so you saw how well Komodo did it blocked everything systems perfectly usable it just uh, some kind of malware just left a trace and that's all so final conclusions about this new version you could level certain criticisms at Komodo for, you know, giving too many alerts and having false positives. But they aren't really that consequential in a software that does so much so well. So, I guess if you're looking for ultimate security, this should be certainly something to keep an eye on. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Kamado is truly, in many ways, best of the bunch. So, I guess that's it. Have a nice day, and uh, talk to you for later.